Welcome back guys, this is the Tropic Trainer uh, and I'm going to be talking very briefly about this shoe uh, which as you can see I've used quite a bit. You know there's a lot of weird marks on this thing because I run around in these things and I've been traveling with this shoe for about six months or more non-stop and I, here's the thing, I have massive feet, okay? <laughs> I mean really big, they're like size 13 and a half UK size so I don't know what that is in American size but the point is these these shoes are massive uh, because they need to be for my big feet and my toes, my big toe, usually cut a hole in any trainer that I wear within about two months or so, it's crazy. Um, and I don't know if that's because I have insanely sharp toenails or because mm, the trainers I normally get are like this style. Uh, the, the trainer style I like is the one with the, you know, like a soft mesh. I like to have a soft mesh on the front and as like, you can even see through it, you can see the light through the mesh, that's how thin it is. That being said, Tropic trainers, they're pretty they're pretty tough. They're pretty strong. It's been however long it has been, like six months or more now, and they haven't broken yet. They haven't broken yet. So yeah, the benefit of these trainers, uh, as it was explained to me, is that they are water resistant. Um, they're really quick to dry. So if you get these wet, the idea is they, they should be able to dry within like a few minutes of being in the sun. And I've tested that and it works. Okay, I wish I could test it now, but I'm in lockdown and it's it's winter now. Okay, but you just have to take my word for it. If you wanna if you wanna see the type of places I was going with these things, and you know, I was going on hikes and things up mountains and stuff, uh, you can just check out my other videos on my channel because I've made a lot of them. But yeah, these things are really tough. You know, they're really resistant. The idea is this was made from a couple of plastic bottles, I think. Uh, now the one question you probably have, and I'm gonna keep this review video very short because. I don't normally review shoes, as you've probably realized. So this, <laughs> this is kind of new to me. It's kind of a weird video to make, but I'm in lockdown. There's nothing else to do. I've made loads of other videos about proper stuff. Um, I actually just finished filming a review video of a deck of cards. Um, why, you ask? I don't know, but anyway. The question you're probably asking is, uh, okay, so how good are the features on it? The main features on, these, on the Tropic Feel trainers, I think that's what they're called, the Tropic Feel, all-terrain men's trainers or something like that uh, is the sprint laces which is basically you don't need to tie your laces up anymore because because real travelers don't have time to travel to tie the laces up you just pull this little tag and the elastic cord you know you can uh, stretch the elastic cord out these are elastic here so very easy and quick to put on and the sprint laces they save you a lot of time because I don't ever need to tie my laces up. I don't even really need to adjust these things because it's elastic. So I can literally just pull it open, put the shoe on and away I go. Now what I've been most impressed about with the Tropic trainers is that you see the ends of them here. You can see the end here and yeah, it's got some mud stains on it and everything like that, but it's, it's in pretty good condition. It really is in good condition. And remember, I've been walking in these every single day. I haven't really worn anything else. I've taken them to the gym, I've cycled with them, I've hiked, I've been up mountains to the beach, around town. You know, they have just been tough. You know, I, I didn't believe that I could finally have found my perfect trainer. I've gone through dozens of pairs of shoes over the years, probably, you know, countless amounts, like a, a silly amount of trainers. Imagine a number of trainers that you think I've gone through and then, and then triple it. That's probably how many I've gone through over the years because my feet just destroy them for whatever reason. But these ones, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. <laughs> they, they've done pretty well so far. Oh yeah, so one more thing I wanna talk about is they have this little, um, I don't even know what you would call this. It's like this little lip here that just goes and wraps, it's elastic by the way, and it just wraps around your heel. And there's been a few people online who've said oh, it causes blisters or it's uncomfortable or you know it it rubs against your foot if you wear it for too long. Here's my thoughts on that, okay? Because like I said, I've worn these every, I've worn these every day for about six months or more. They're comfortable. They are really really comfortable. And uh, as you've probably noticed from my other videos, if something is bad, you know, if I don't like a product, I'll tell you. Um, but yeah. I can't really say anything bad about these. Even for wearing them for up to eight hours or more, it's really comfortable, it doesn't cause any blisters. That being said, uh, the way I wear them is I actually 
uh, I do have these laces done quite tight. So they, the shoe is held quite tightly to my foot, which probably minimizes what would cause blisters. If you're wearing, if you're used to wearing like skate shoes or something and, and they're really loose, then yeah, you might get blisters because these are, they're not designed to be worn loose. If you wear them loose, then of course, it's gonna rub against your ankle all the time. But if you wear them like normal trainers and you don't have them loose and you just yeah, make sure they're kind of tight or you know a normal fit then you'll be fine so there is there is one downside to this to these trainers one kind of annoying thing okay and it's not really a problem it's not really you know any fault of that of tropic tropic feel um and it's actually well, now that i think about it it's actually the benefit that they were mainly selling these things with is now the biggest problem if you wear them in the wrong place so i was recently in sweden Okay, and in Sweden, in the winter, it gets pretty cold. It's in the Nordics, so it's gonna get pretty cold. And what I noticed was that when I would wear these outside, my feet were really cold, really cold. Okay, so these are not for cold countries. They're not for cold places. They're for hot countries, beaches, hiking. They're not for Sweden, okay? And although I got away with it, because it wasn't that cold, uh, on some days, my feet were quite cold. And if, the, if it was snowing and if I was walking through snow, the snow would immediately go through these, but that would happen with any trainers. And uh, the reason that it does that is because they're meant to be quick drying. So as you can imagine, there are loads of holes all around this thing. Everywhere there are holes, okay? Uh, not in the bottom of the trainer, as far as I can tell, uh, but you know, the whole point of the Tropic Real trainers is they're meant to be quick drying. So there's gonna be holes all over them to let the water out so they, they can dry faster. The downside of that is if you're in a cold country, the air or the water, the rain, the snow is gonna get in just as easily as the water on the beach would get out. That being said, great pair of trainers. Check out the link in the description, watch my other videos, and I'll see you next time.